it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, your organization has five terabytes of private data on premises. You need to migrate the data to cloud storage. You want to maximize the data transfer speed. How should you migrate the data? Seems like a fairly straightforward question. We know the size of the data to be transferred. We also know that it needs to go to cloud storage and transfer speed is a primary goal. So five terabytes of data, we know that it's not too small and it's also not too big. Right? Uh, five terabytes, about 5,000 gigabytes, which is quite large for um, say your home use, but at corporate levels is not much. It's also not too big because corporate data can go into petabytes and exabytes. Comparatively, five terabytes is fairly small. Now, the solution we choose has to be able to get this data directly to cloud storage, right? It needs to be migrated to cloud storage. You also want to maximize the data transfer speed, which means the speed is a primary goal for us. It should finish fairly quickly. Looking at this question, I feel that the requirements are actually very few. Right? We'll probably end up with multiple options that we could use, depending on what kind of networks we have. There's also no information on bandwidth. There's no information or a specific requirement on ease of use or minimizing complexity. Are we allowed to take a complex um, technology, for example? Are we allowed to set up hybrid network for this? Is that interconnecting peer, any of those? None of that, that is actually mentioned. So maybe we will have to limit our choices and explain away or eliminate some options just based on these. Hopefully we won't have too many confusing options. In looking at data transfer, you should obviously also look at all the other parameters that affect it. In this particular case, of course, we want the time to be very short, right? We want the speed to be very high, which means basically the time to do the transfer will be short, which of course is dependent on the bandwidth. So I ran these numbers on say 100 Mbps to transfer five terabytes it would take about six days. Whereas at one GBPS, it would finish in 15 hours. And at 10 GBPS in an hour. And if we have multiples of 10 GBPS, it is going to be a fraction of an hour and a few minutes. So there's definitely a huge dependency on the kind of network we have and the kind of speed that that network supports. We obviously don't have that information, so we might have to assume some things during the um, process of answering this requirement. The first option suggests that we try GSUtil. Can GSUtil do the task for us? Well, it is available as part of the SDK. It's freely available, right? It's easy to use. When you use GSUtil, you can transfer data directly to cloud storage. So it's easy to use, it's directly gets the data where you want it. And five terabytes, like we said, is a manageable load for something like GSU, right? Especially when you consider that this is going to be a corporate network, right? So you're gonna have fairly sizable bandwidth and therefore GSU seems to tick off all our requirements. And therefore for, for me at this point, this is a very strong contender. But we haven't seen all the other options, so we'll park it as a good possibility and move on and look at the other options. Option B suggests that we use gcloud. Now, gcloud is just not the tool for this, right? This is a direct elimination. When you want to transfer data to a cloud storage, gsutil is a much better option than gcloud. Uh, gcloud does not have anything direct that allows you to do this. So easy elimination, option B is out. GCloud is just not the tool for this. Use the GCS REST API. Right? The Google Cloud Storage exposes an API 
and you can write code to upload files using this GCIS REST API. Now clearly in this case a lot of extra programming is required. Also the size is the size of the file it's not very very small like a few kilobytes or megabytes so it's fairly large it's uh, multiple gigabytes right thousands of gigabytes. If we have to transfer this file then we will have to take care of how we do multi-part transfers. Do we do parallelization, right? Something like GSUtil automatically provides parallelization. It is it allows you to split the file, transfer it parallel, uh, and then um, it will consolidate the file uh, once you receive it within Google Cloud, right, on cloud storage. So combining those parts, the parallelization, the multi-part transfers, all of that is code that you will have to take care of now. And that seems just too much work, you know, just for transferring five terabytes of data which seems to be a very normal use case. We don't want to be writing our own code. So if possible, we would prefer a ready to. In our case, we already know we at least have GSUtil, right? GSUtil allows us to do this. So there's no reason for us to be uh, struggling with this and therefore we will eliminate option C. Option D suggests that we use the storage transfer service. Now, my suspicion is that this question is fairly open. Right. This was this question is created at a time before some of the new services came. Originally, the storage transfer service was used for getting data from HTTP or HTTPS endpoints, typically like an S3 endpoint, an Amazon S3 bucket. You could also have it, of course, from on-prem if you had a open HTTP or HTTPS endpoint. Right. So this might not have been a straight option earlier. But today, there is a new option of using storage transfer service for on-premises data, right? So there is a storage transfer services from a service from on-premises. What does it give you? Transfer service for on-premise data is a software service that enables you to transfer large amounts of data from a data center to a cloud storage bucket. So we are able to transfer large amount of data. It is an inbuilt service and it allows us to transfer directly to a cloud storage bucket. Pretty much everything that we want in this requirement. It says that it's well suited for customers that are moving billions of files and hundreds of terabytes of data in a single transfer. Very convenient for us, right? If we can transfer hundreds of terabytes, five terabytes should be nothing for it. And it can scale to network connections in the tens of GBPS, which means that even if your corporate uh, network has a hybrid connectivity of very high bandwidth, then you can take advantage of that using the uh, transfer service for on-premises data. So for all reasons considered, this seems a great option, right? Five terabytes of data, easy to transfer, goes to to cloud storage, and the speed is going to be very, very high. Provided, of course, you have the network bandwidth, right? So now, this also seems like a very strong contender, which means that we are essentially left with two options. Either A, GSUtil, or D, to use the storage transfer service. Like I said, storage transfer service with on-premises, from on-premises an option is much newer. Right? So originally A would have been the direct answer and not D, but now D is a very strong contender too. Let us see which of these would be the better option today. Again, looking at these options, we can see that right now it is just mentioned as a one-time task. Right? We are not asking for it to be repeatedly synced um, with five terabytes of data every day or every hour. Right? It's a one-time task. The data size is reasonably small. And we also expect to have corporate bandwidth, like I said. So we expect that we would have a fairly fat pipe and therefore five terabytes wouldn't be too much of a load difference or time difference whether you're using GSUtil or whether you're using the storage transfer service. Now, if this was in the hundreds of terabytes, my option would directly be, I mean, well, I can't say directly be, but it, storage transfer service would be a much uh, better option than using GSUtil. But there is more effort to set up storage transfer service for on-premises data. 
whereas gsutil is a straightforward tool right you can just say gsutil and you can say uh, do it parallelly and just specify the file and it'll take care of that right so it's just one command line option um, or one command line uh, command as opposed to quite a bit of configuration to get the storage transfer service working and i'm thinking for this particular use case when you just have just 5 terabytes of data we would rather go with a simpler option which in this case is gsu so all things considered and even after considering some of the newer options available my preference coincidentally happens to be the same one um that would have been chosen you know um, even little while ago before the storage transfer service allowed on premise data transfer so in this case we will go with option a which is to use gsu all right now it's time for you to like share comment and subscribe go ahead do that right now because there's loads of great content coming up for learning google cloud and preparing for the certifications